Hi everyone and welcome. Thank you for joining me today on Storytime 365. My name is Barbara and as we look ahead to tomorrow and the arrival of Earth Day, today I have a special and very important story called The Bernstein Bears Go Green. Have you ever wondered how you can help to make the planet a more green and healthier place? Here are some ideas. You can pick up plastic or trash around your neighborhood or in your local parks. You could plant a tree. You could use wildflowers or other native plants. You could reduce, reuse, recycle, swap out kitchen and other household items. You could stop pesticides and chemical use in your gardens, conserve water and electricity, start a compost, support our pollinators, and of course, wherever possible, walk or ride a bike instead of driving a car. Today's story has been written and illustrated by Jan and Mike Bernstein. Bear country was a beautiful place to live. It had green rolling hills and wide river valleys. It had cool shady woods and bright sunny fields. There were steep cliffs and deep canyons, roaring rapids and rushing waterfalls. Lots of creatures lived in bear country besides bears. There were deer and ducks, woodchucks and weasels, there were rabbits and raccoons, possums and porcupines, there were badgers, bats, butterflies, bugs, and much, much more. The bear family loved living in bear country. They always tried their best to keep it beautiful. Most of the other creatures who lived there tried their best too. But no matter how hard you try, sometimes you run into problems, and that's just what happened. One fine morning, the bear family decided to go fishing. Let's go down to the creek where Grizzly Gramps keeps his boat, said Papa. We can pack a lunch and have a picnic as we fish. Terrific, they all agreed. The family packed up their fishing gear and their lunch and went down to the creek where they loaded into Grizzly Gramps' boat. Papa got out the oars and rowed everyone lazily along, their fishing lines out, while they ate a picnic lunch. The sun was shining, the birds were singing, and all seemed right in bear country until... Pew! said sister. What's that awful smell? The rest of the family sat up and sniffed. Yuck! they all cried. What is that? They noticed something funny floating in the water. It was a streak of dark, gunky-looking stuff. It seemed to be coming from around a bend in the creek. Uh-oh, said Papa. I know what's around that bend. Soon they could all see it. The Bear Country Dump. Wow, said Brother. What a mess. It was indeed a mess. There were wrecked cars, old mattresses, busted TV sets, broken washing machines, and piles of trash and garbage. But the worst mess was the bunch of leaky old oil drums that someone had dumped right on the edge of the creek. Gooey, smelly black oil was leaking into the water. This is a disgrace, said Mama. She hated to see her beloved bear country treated this way. Mama had even been the mayor of bear country for a time. This has got to be cleaned up, she said. We will go to the town meeting and complain. Yes, said brother. Go, Mama, said sister. Go, go, said honey. At the next town meeting, the bear family and many other bears filled the town hall. Mayor Honeypot was on the stage. He rapped on the desk with a gavel. Ahem, he said. The meeting is called to order. Is there any new business? Mama stood up to speak, but another bear jumped up before her. 
Mr. Mayor, he said, I am Mr. Greenwood, and I have come to complain about the disgraceful state of the bear country dump. Mama sat down to listen. Oil is leaking from the dump into the creek, said Mr. Greenwood. What are you going to do about it, Mr. Mayor? Mr. Honeypot was surprised. I did not know about that, he said. We will have a cleanup of the dump right away. Will any of you here volunteer to help? Everyone at the meeting raised their hands, especially Mama, Papa, and the cubs. A few days later, it seemed like most of bear country was down at the dump. Everyone pitched in to clean up the trash and junk. Much of it would be mixed with earth so the trees could grow on it. They hauled away the oil drums and put them in a safer spot far from the creek. As the bear family headed for home, Sister was thoughtful. You know, she said, it's good to clean up the dump, but there's lots more we can do to make bear country clean and green. We can do things right at home. We've been learning about it in school. Like what? asked Papa. Well, began Sister, we can recycle and compost. We can stop wasting water and energy at home, added Brother. And, put in Mama, we can carpool with other families going to school or shopping so we won't waste gas. But Papa had the best going green idea of all. He rigged up a windmill on top of his workshop to power some of his tools. I think wind power is the best kind of energy there is, he explained. It's clean, it's there any windy day you want it, and best of all, he added, it's absolutely, totally free. Wee, said Honey, holding up a pinwheel to catch the wind. Thank you for joining me for today's story. I hope you enjoyed it and it encourages you to also do some things to help our planet. Please remember to like and subscribe and hit the bell button so you receive notifications about new stories. I look forward to seeing you all again soon for some more fun books. Until that time, bye!